guys, welcome to my airbags. I'm Eli and today we're removing the airbag module on this Toyota RAV4. On the Toyota RAV4, these are the tools that you're gonna need. I have my power drill here with a hex bit my flathead, my socket wrench with 10 and 12 millimeters. Now the first and most important step is to disconnect the battery. Anytime we work with the airbag system, whether it's the airbag, the seatbelts, or the airbag module, we wanna go ahead and disconnect the battery first. Here's our battery, and we're gonna start with a negative. I have my 10 millimeter socket, and I'm just gonna loosen it. I'm not gonna remove it all the way, just loosen it. Just enough so it slides right up. You wanna put it to the side. Same thing with the positive. Remove the cover, 10 millimeter to this little nut over here. Just loosen it up. And then just move it back and forth until it slides out and put it to the side. I personally like to actually put a rag or a glove, something non-conductive right on the positive contact, just like that. That way when we're working on the car, there's no chance of it coming back and hitting that contact. So a rag, glove, anything non-conductive will do just fine. Next, we're gonna get right inside the car and go right into the center armrest here and just lift it up just like this. There's a little fabric here that you wanna just remove. And you'll see there's four bolts right here. And I'm going to remove them with a 10 millimeter socket. All right, and there's the last one. You wanna put those bolts somewhere safe where you won't lose them. And at this point, the back of the console will kind of be free and you can lift it right up, but we're not finished just yet. Next, I'm gonna take my little screw, flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna start working this area right here. If you get right in between there and gently just kind of work this up, you'll notice it will start popping off. Those are just tabs holding this trim down. And you'll notice this whole thing will start coming loose. You wanna lift this up and kind of work just like that. And as you can see, this is still holding it down. So we're going to just unscrew this counterclockwise. Just a knob right here. It'll come right up. Now the next thing, we want to release the shift knob right here, the shift stick. We want to release it. I'm going to take my little flathead again and get right into this little plastic piece right here and work it up. Once you remove this little plastic piece, make sure you put it somewhere where you won't lose it. Once you've got that piece out, insert the flathead into that area and push down. And then at the same time, go ahead and just work the shifter stick down. All right, once you have it in this position right about here, you can start removing the whole center trim panel. And it's being held on by this little plug here. You just want to get in on the inside of this and just kind of press down and pull. And that will release. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. 
Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. Next, I'm going to use a Phillips bit or a hex bit and I'm going to remove these two little screws right here. Now I'm not actually gonna lift up the front of the console, I'm gonna leave it right where it is, but I loosen them so that we have more flexibility when we work on the back side of this panel. All right, the module is located right here, right in here, that yellow and white sticker, that's on top of the module. And the plug is right here. This yellow plug is the front of the module. It's really important that we do have the battery disconnected before we start removing the module. So it's really important to disconnect the battery. And then we're going to unplug these first and then unbolt the module. Now first we're going to unplug the module. There's a little lever here that holds it together and it has a button in front. If you press that button and then pull on the lever at the same time, the whole plug will come right out and then pull on the lever at the same time. And then the whole harness will come right out. Next, we want to start removing these bolts. There's three of them. Here's the first one. And then the other two are towards the back. It will access those two from the back. All right, so I'm gonna use my 12 millimeter socket. You can use a socket wrench or you can use your power drill with your proper connectors and you can get right down into here and remove it. Now in the back seat, we're gonna wanna access the back of the center console and I have my flathead and I'm gonna start working right over here. Just kinda start working it. Just like that and the tabs will pop right off. We're gonna to wanna to access the back of the module, so we're going to lift this up. And the module is right here, and the bolts are right there, those two. Now you can use your socket with your 12 millimeter to go right over the top and access them this way. Or if you have a wrench, you can access it from the side. If you have your power drill, you can go ahead and actually access it from the top. This is what the module looks like right here. Now, if your car was in an accident and your body shop or dealership told you you need to replace the module, now these modules can cost up to a few hundred dollars. There is an alternative to that. Since 2006, My Airbags has been resetting the airbag modules. And if you'd like to get the module reset instead of replacing it, you can go to myairbags.com and place your order there. Now, if you're someone who rebuilds cars, regularly you already know that the seatbelts do deploy along with the module so we can actually rebuild the seatbelts for you and we're going to briefly take a look at how to remove it now we want to start by getting to the side panel but the side panel runs underneath this panel right here so we want to start with this pull it up and then we're going to get into the side pillar now you could use a flathead to get right in between i'm actually just going to use my hand to get right between the carpeting and the panel and you'll hear a few pops and that's normal that's just the tabs coming right up now we're going to keep working right up into this side panel here we're going to lift this side panel up first and then that's gonna release this part here. 
Now we have this loosened up already. The last piece that will release it is this right here. There's actually a bolt that holds down the end of the seat belt right into the side here. And we're gonna wanna just pop that open and then remove the bolt. But without removing it, I can already show you what's going on on the side here. Now we're gonna peel this back. And right here we can see the pretensioner unit. This whole thing right here is the pretensioner unit. Now this is the part that deploys and locks up after an accident. The dealership or body shop will tell you that you have to also replace this part here and you can. They do go for a couple hundred dollars usually. And here at my airbags, we can rebuild the original one for a fraction of that cost. Now looking at this seatbelt, I can tell this is a dual stage seatbelt. What that means is there's two parts that deploy. And the way I can see that is just by looking at the plugs. There's one plug here and there's one plug here. Now when the seatbelt deploys, you will have an airbag light on until they're replaced. Usually on this car, the driver side and passenger side will go bad after an accident. And here at MyAirbags.com, we can handle both driver's side and passenger side for you. You can go to MyAirbags.com, select your year, make, and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, we'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like Subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment. I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with MyAirbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.